So we're all here tonight for the doctor and master of pipe ceremony. But before we begin, um, if I could just have your, your attention for just a few minutes. As some of you may or may not know, within the past few weeks, we had the passing of Craig Cobine, the show director. If you don't remember, Frank Berla is the one who founded the Chicago Pipe Show. Um, and after Frank, Craig Colbein stepped in to keep the show running. Um, if I could just have a moment of silence in honor of Craig's passing, I'd be grateful. Thank you. Thank you for your respect. Um, before we begin a little bit, I just want to give a little bit of background about the doctor and the master of pipes program. A lot of people are like, what's the hype? What's so special about the doctor and master of pipes? Yeah. Okay, first, the idea took years to create. It just didn't kind of come out of nowhere. We have people who are pillars of this community. Okay, when I mean pillars, they make our pastime, our enthusiasm, our pursuit possible. Okay, those are our doctor pipes. People who are making and shoring up what we're doing. Um, I might enjoy a pipe, I might enjoy pipe tobacco, but without the work of the doctor of pipes, I'm not always sure that the quality of tobacco that I'm smoking would be at that level without certain doctor of pipes getting involved with the blending, the distribution, the production. <clears throat> those individuals, those pillars, are doctors of pipes. After years of running the doctor of pipes, it became apparent that we also have people who are keeping this growing, keeping our culture growing. And it became apparent we need to honor these people as well. And so we have the master of pipes. What's important about masters is they're rejuvenating and reviving a culture that is hundreds of years in the making. Now that could be carvers, that could be blenders, that could be distributors, that can be people just providing the basic rudiments of what it takes to make a pipe. So. Those individuals are masters of pipes. We honor them at this dinner, this night, both doctors <coughs> and masters, with a simple show of respect and honor. They're worth more than a plaque can provide, but it's what a club can afford. So we have to work within these, these boundaries, my friends. So um, now, also, we've had a transition in the governorship. So I am not the governor of Pipes. I am just a humble servant of my community and my club, and I thank all of our members, all the individuals who put the thousands of hours into making this show happen. So thank you. I'm gonna do a little, little embarrassment and ask if you spent any time, Hassan, Ronnie, Alan, come on, Jeff, if you spent any time helping putting on this show, could you just stand up for a moment so we can recognize you as well, please? So I can honor you for the work you've done. I'm very grateful when people say, Tim, that was a great show, Tim, it was a great show, this is awesome, yeah, love it, love it. Those are the people who are putting it together, not me. That's not true. You're <laughs> you contribute to. I, I'm humbled by the work they put in. So, <laughs> you give them now, without further ado, I would like to present the governor of Pipes, Dr. Linwood Hines. Yeah. 
to the people that <clears throat> and my voice has been going all day, so <laughs> forgive me. The people that put the show together. Having put shows together for 40 years, or almost 40 years, I can understand what it takes. But this one is phenomenal. You have no idea. All right, let's talk about a few words. Now, you know, I'm a beach boy, and so I kind of still relate everything to the ocean and all that, and I still want to go surfing, but I'm too darn old. But anyway, um, one of the words, words is gnarly. Who knows the word gnarly? Yeah. See the hands, yeah. Well, normally we're talking about briar. Briar and pipes, okay? And it's kind of appropriate. What a briar bowl looks like. When a briar bowl is subjected to, as it's been taught to us, beneficial oils and heat, and then sandblasted to remove the soft wood surrounding the grains. Ladies, now you know when we say gnarly, we're talking about pipes, we're not talking about... No, I'm not talking about <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, that was originally a surfing term. You know, describing storm surf, wind-blown large waves, really gnarly. And when a surfer turned pipe smoker, described the briar grain that we all know now as a grail, well, that's where it came from. Okay? Now you know everything. <laughs> I want to mention another surfing word, stoke. Who's ever heard the word stoke? Yeah. Y'all are stoke. <laughs> it's continued excitement and enthusiasm. As, and we are, really stoked to be at the Chicago Pipe Show. Yeah. Yeah. down cheers from the audience <laughs> a few dollars later all right some pipe smokers are extremely stoked with this pipe smoking thing look around you and you'll see them. some more so than others and that's what we're here tonight to recognize some really special people who are really stoked and that are being recognized by their peers for doing wonderful things for our hobby. You have no idea how deep this goes. These pipe smokers have brought their enthusiasm or stoke to the rest of the pipe smoking world by they, forming pipe clubs, writing about pipe smoking. Of course, now it's blogging and videoing and, you know, social media in. I know that's not the word. <laughs> but promoting pipe smoking. Some have spent a major part of their lives bringing us wonderful pipes, tobaccos, newsletters, pipe-making stuff, and tobacco-blending stuff, and putting it all out here for you all to learn. So tonight, the Chicagoland Pipe Smokers and the present Doctors of Pipes and the Masters of Pipes want to honor these people for their enthusiasm, sharing their joys with the world of pipe smoking. Okay? So the Doctor of Pipes Award was started 26 years ago by the Chicagoland Pipe Smokers. 26 years. That's a lot longer than some of you have been here. And as Tim said, to recognize the architects of the golden age of pipe smoking the new golden age, and that's what we like to hear it, because if you look at it, we are it, and we're enjoying it, and there are more pipes and more pipe tobaccos and more good friends out there than you can believe that pipe smokers have ever put together, and you all are it. So, these were the club founders, the writers, the documenters documenters, the pipe makers and the tobacco blenders, the retailers and the pipe collectors who were stoked enough to have you here tonight. 
also want to recognize the younger guys, the masters of pipes that are doing this through the new social medias that the old guys like me don't really understand and can mess up, but they're doing it. But they're doing it not just on social media, they're doing it around the world and in some way communicating and bringing the world to pipe smoking. And we all know what a great thing that is. So, announcing the 2024 Doctor of Pipes for the hobby. There are two categories, hobby and trade. <coughs> for the hobby, Mr. Regis McCafferty. Have a round of applause. Regis couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, and I'm going to read his statement at his request. I won't be attending the Chicago show and the Doctors of the Pipe Doctors of Pipes announcement. It is an unequaled honor in our community and one that I treasure. I truly hope to attend, but it is impossible for me to leave Vi, who is essentially bedridden, and I'm her full-time caregiver. To say I'm disappointed would be an understatement, but my responsibilities are with her. Thank you all for this honor. In the train, um, somebody that, that's kind of close to me because I started off in pipe shows and one of the people involved was this fellow's father, okay? So I was uh, very proud when, when he won this vote. Um, a young man, although he's been in the business for about four decades, um, Marco Paracenso yeah. from Rome, Italy. Another one that could not make it because of a family obligation that was very important. So I'm going to read his statement. Now, I don't know how many Italians are here. <laughs> Can I, you know, use my hands and all this? <laughs> it was either that or he had prepared a 45 minute video. <laughs> I'm deeply sorry for not being able to be here this evening. I miss participating in the show which has been coming for, which I've been coming to, I'm sorry, for 20 years. I miss that magical atmosphere that you all breathe in those days, but most of all, I miss the people. Indeed, the magic of this industry lies precisely in the inclination to share one's passion, like the doctors and the masters have done. And it turns customers into, and or competitors, I'm sorry, into friends that work into a hobby. I'm deeply honored to receive this certificate of esteem and to be part of a group of friends whom I respect and from whom I have learned a lot over the years. I received this notice with great surprise and it took me some time, some time to find the right words for you all. Marco, welcome. youth, I don't quite understand what they're doing, so I am going to ask David to hand the certificates to the new Masters of Pipes. And for the hobby, Mr. Jay Furman. For the trade, Mr. Steve Norse. Steve's 
Steve is a man of very few words. <laughs> but great deeds. <laughs> great deeds, true, true. But he does have a friend here who would like to present on his behalf, give a few words that Steve lacks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Goldsmith. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. I got off a plane this afternoon. I didn't know anybody. And I feel like I've got so many new friends. And I thank you. I see what Steve has always talked about. Family. You are his family. And I can understand it. And I'm very proud of you, Steve. Steve loves to talk in public. But <laughs> he asked me if I would say a few words, which are his words. <coughs> Good, Steve. I don't always go to pipe shows, but when I do, it's a Chicago pipe show. <laughs> Some people know me as the actor who portrayed the most interesting man in the world, but let me tell you about the most interesting young man who we're honoring here tonight. Whether it's an occupation or a preoccupation, Steve has a deep appreciation for this industry and has made his pipe dream into a reality. He would like to express his deepest gratitude and appreciation for such an honorable award. He could not have done this without the continued support from each and every one of you who he calls family. Believe me, I've been hearing about you guys back in Vermont for a long time. He would like to deeply thank Tim Garrity for his dedication to grow this great show. And most of all, he'd like to thank Bill Tate for taking him under his wing when Steve was a teenager and taught Steve the art of fine woodworking. This was the beginning of the woodworking journey that led Steve into this industry many years ago. And I would like to thank every one of you for being part of Steve's life and letting him shine and grow. It's an honor to be here to meet the Pipe family. And on a personal note, as I walked around today in this great convention hall, I had wonderful feelings about my background. I come from a background of smokers. My grandfather came from Russia when he was a very young boy with a $50 gold piece in his shoe. Shortly after that, he ended up with a cigar shop in a place called the Bronx, New York. And his favorite and most famous customer was Babe Ruth. Wow. Yeah, true story. He said you could always tell when the babe was coming because you could hear all the kids in front of him. He had an entourage of children all around him. So it was nice to be here today, and I thank you for the memories. And one of the nicest things for me personally was to experience the fact that you're all competitors, and you're all part of one great family. Aww. Thank you. Wanted to give a few minutes for. Matter in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something, but following the, the you know, you see me on the roll, I had to sing it. <laughs> oh, great. But you never too old to surf, by the way. Put it in your mouth. The boards just get longer. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, sort of the shorts. Right. So yeah. Well, this it, is just truly, you know, humbling, it, and, and I'm honored by it. That's all. I to the phone. It really means a lot. You know. Oh. It just means a lot to me. Uh, my, my dad passed away about 10 years ago, and uh, this would have really been something for him to say. So, thank you. You're welcome. Again, for those that organized the show, one more round of applause, please. If you 
happen to see these new masters in the show and you don't know them, well, even if you know them, congratulate them. It's because they've done something great for this hobby, even though they may not know it. Okay? Any questions? No, I didn't. That's no, just me. <laughs> Thank you, James. Thank you, Linwood. Uh, we're going to take a few minutes to uh, uh, transition. We have, in the past, we used to give a raffle for cigar boxes and cigars. We'll take just a few minutes if you want to get out your raffle tickets. We have some new prizes this year, so take a few minutes, get your tickets out. I'd, last, I'd like to ask Ron Pecorini to come on up. To start drawing today's Tim, anybody's missing a ticket? If anybody it, would like to buy an extra no, ticket? No, missing a ticket. Missing hasn't, a ticket. hasn't been given one? Has, if you haven't been like given one, like Craig Harrell. <laughs> if we can get Craig Harrell a ticket, um, a round of applause for Craig Harrell and Hassan. Thank you guys for doing our video for us. I'd like to thank my lovely, talented girlfriend, Shannon. If I seem grounded, it's because she's been pulling me down out of the clouds. So, so I'd like to introduce Ron Pecorini. He is the new show director. Take a moment. Round of applause for Ron. We have some prizes that we'll be raffling off. But first, everyone, do you have your ticket? You got your tickets? Get your tickets up. This one, the one they gave you. Last chance? Do you have tickets? Do you want me to read yours? Give me a chance. I'm scared. <laughs> Anyone more tickets? Teresa will have them for you if you want to give it a shot. We're good. You don't have the tickets. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good? Yeah. That's it. All right. You're cut. Here we go. 